Hi guys, welcome back and today's video is going to be about how to use affordable brushes for the beginners. Especially if you just started their makeup career or you just simply want to learn it for yourself, I'm going to show you guys how to use them step by step. When it comes to brushes, it can be so confusing because there's so many brushes in one set and you don't know what brush is used for what part of the face and we have a bunch of eyeshadow brushes. And I totally understand that because I've been in your place before so that's why I decided to create this video so I can show you guys step by step how to use them. A very important point to remember with brushes are prices. Sometimes prices can make a huge difference but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes a well-known brand can give you a very very bad quality brushes but sometimes a cheap brand can give you a very very high quality I came across this brand called do care and it comes in 27 pieces and it's like $33 right now I found them very high quality and I wanted to share this with you guys this video is not sponsored by them or any other brand I just simply wanted to show you guys a good affordable brushes after prepping my face with a moisturizer I love to go with a setting spray setting spray just helps to keep my skin hydrating all day long that's something that I always do personally then I like to go with a primer I'm actually using two primer today on half and half the other one was a blur effect primer and this one is just gonna give me a glowy effect this is just for me to test something don't worry about it you can skip this part but let's move to my high points which I love to use Charlotte Tilbury on my high points this is a flawless filter that I like to get that glow under my high points I happen to found out to blend the flawless filter I like to use the flat foundation brush this helps to make this uh, product still stay on your skin whenever I do use a beauty blender I feel like I remove a lot of it off of my skin so brush is good this is a foundation brush that you can use for this kind of area of the face from the do care set this is brush number four that I use for foundation and also I use for the flawless filter okay let's move to the next brush this brush is a contour brush it has like a little angle where it perfectly fits on the forehead and on the um, cheeks that just helps to blend in and make the product stay in one area uh, this is actually one of my favorite brush because I'm able to work around my forehead my jaw area my nose and it's just perfect this is how the brush looks like and this is a brush number four from the same set Okay guys, let's move to the next brush, which is the large concealer brush. I feel like concealers don't have uh, any kind of rules under the eyes. I have seen people using their finger blending under their eyes or using a beauty sponge, uh, whatever works for you. But if you're going to use this for client, this would be a perfect um, brush because it's easy to apply and it's safe, it's clean and also easy to blend under a client's um, eyes. Okay, this is brush number six and I actually love this um, brush because it is so easy to apply and it covers so much area i usually do it with my fingers but then i learned to use this brush and i love the quality of this brand it is so soft and uh smooth it makes the under eyes very very smooth so i love this product and i always like to go with my hands one more time under my eyes when I like a brush, I like to use the same brush throughout my makeup and just clean in between. I'm using a towel and spraying a brush remover um, spray and it just helps to clean the brush. Now I'm using the same brush with a pressed powder and pressing the uh, powder under my eyes. I love how I'm able to press with this brush onto my skin as removing all the lines and all the creases. It's giving me like a blur effect. The next brush is my second favorite brush. This is brush number eight and it comes in an angle. I love this brush because it perfectly fits on my forehead and under my cheeks where I contour and also fits under my jawline. Believe it or not, I also use this on the side of my nose if I want to contour my nose and if it perfectly goes in circle, you can just blend in circles or you can just tap tap and blend the contour. This brush can give you a perfect blend on you or your client, so take your time with it. I'm using the same brush, which is number eight. I'm applying my 
blush as you guys can see i love this brush so i'm using it second time always remember there is no such rules that you have to use different brushes for different part of the face this is just a way to understand the brushes and the angles that helps you can literally use one brush for everything but always clean in between using a towel and using a uh, brush cleaner spray the next brush is this cute fluffy brush that i found it so cute and this is number seven in the set which is very very um fluffy like i was saying and it's easy to just apply the highlight and just catch that part of the face where you want to uh, stand out and i also use it on my face my forehead just applying the rest of the highlight on the rest of my face and almost every brand has this fluffy brush the next brush is number one and this is mostly it's called the tampered face brush and this can be used for all over the face and this is exactly how the last brush looks like but just in a bigger version and very very fluffy and this is like a very fun brush to just work around the face anywhere of the part of the face you can blend things you can blend the edges you can just apply powder to just set the whole face and just like mix things up this is just perfect to carry in the bag and anytime that you just want to touch up this would be perfect to use the last thing i like to do in my makeup routine is to apply a setting spray then go with a damped beauty a sponge and then just press it on my skin whatever is just sitting there whatever just wants to be blended in the sponge would be perfect right in the end let's get started with eyeshadow and this palette is so beautiful and it has almost every color that you need from bright colors to all the neutral colors and the brand is called you can be and it's so affordable you can use this forever uh, let me get my eyebrows out of the way and then we can go ahead and start the eyeshadow and I can't wait to share all my tips and tricks with these eyeshadow brushes. The first brush we're going to start with is brush number 27 and this is like a flat, very flat brush where you can clean and get under the eyebrows and clean all the little mistakes that we happen to make with uh, drawing our eyebrows and also just clean up the top it's tiny and it's able to fit and it, it's not gonna mess the eyebrows so it's perfect okay the next brush is brush number 11 and this is a little fluffy brush it's called a shader brush which is a little bit angled but it's same and fluffy that you can use for the eyelid to uh, apply concealer or something people use this under their eyes to apply concealer let's move to the next brush to set uh, my eyelid this is also a fluffy brush and this is brush number 18 which um, you can use this for eyeshadow for anything on the eyelid and I'm just setting the back of my eyelid with a press powder this is perfect to just like go in circle motions and uh, just to blend anything about the eyeshadow this would be a perfect brush I'm going to use the same brush I'm just gonna clean it in between of my uh, eyeshadow colors I'm using a brown eyeshadow in the outer corners and this is a perfect brush to uh, apply the eyeshadow and then just blend in the outer corners of your eye crease you probably already heard me so many times saying this but I'm gonna say it again honestly the quality of this brush is so good for the price which is only $33 and you get 27 pieces and it blends so good like very high quality type of a brush okay this brush is brush number 19 and it has like a flat and it's not so fluffy it's just a flat brush and this is perfect to pick any kind of a shimmery eyeshadows and then just drag it on the eyelid so what I do usually pick the eyeshadow that the shimmery eyeshadow which has like a little consist consistency to it so I just pick that and then I drag it with the brush and then I go ahead and uh, blend the edges of the um, shimmer then I'm going back with brush number 18 and of course I cleaned it with the uh, brush cleaner and then just like putting some more color right in the middle of the eyelid and blending it in and see how beautiful it looks this little tiny brush which i say tiny because it's literally tiny and it's brush number 24 it's usually used for the bottom lower lash it's perfect to fit in there and then blend in the next brush is typical eyeliner brush where i'm pretty sure you have seen it everywhere and this is also a tiny small brush where it can give you a perfect uh, outer corner ring, uh, uh, wing or inner corner wing and any kind of eyeliner you want to apply 
by the way guys the brush that i use for eyeliner is brush number 22 and then i like to go ahead and apply my mascara and the mascara i'm using is pretty good mascara it's tiny but pretty good mascara that i could just get all my lashes out of the way and actually um, make it extra tacky so that way when i apply my um my false lashes it would be for perfect on top of it and just press it the next thing i like to do is just a little extra and is um using a tweezer and pressing like few lashes on the bottom and crunching them together this just helps to give that um a standout type of uh, lashes and it just makes my eyes a little more open and i love that then i'm gonna go ahead and apply my false lashes and these false lashes are amazing and um i got them from amazon they're pretty uh less expensive and you can actually get a full look with this this is perfect for like a um night out or a date night or anyways for any kind of pictures we it would be perfect okay guys we're almost done here i'm just getting my lips out of the way uh lip liner and lipstick and then everything that i use in this video is gonna be in the description i'm gonna put all the links and if you guys need the link to the brushes it's gonna be there they're running something very special right now you guys go ahead and make your purchase these brushes will last you for a very long time i'm guaranteeing you that like i was saying earlier i am not sponsored by this company or any other company in this video this video was simply an educational video for you guys i wanted to show you guys step by step how to use the brushes the last part of my makeup application is setting spray setting spray just helps to grab all my makeup and make everything set in place and not move and then another thing I like to do is add a little bit more glow towards the end I always use the rare beauty liquid highlighter this is just like a blink in the eyes it's so perfect it's beautiful I love to apply this on my higher point and then I go ahead and use a dumped beauty sponge to just press everything that's just sitting on my skin it just helps to do a final touch up we are officially done thank you so much for watching if you like this video give your girl a big thumbs up and if you are new to my channel consider subscribing because i post every single week i'll see you guys in my next video